Now this is going to be good. Without a doubt, one of the greatest Lucha Libre stars in sports entertainment history. Break out your notepads because we are about to receive a master class in high flying. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Rey Mysterio. One of the all-time greats. Listen to the ovation for the biggest little man in the history of WWE, Rey Mysterio. You gotta love an underdog story like Rey Mysterio's. It sounds nice, but I wouldn't know. I've never been an underdog in my life. Here comes L.A. Knight, a man who brings the excitement level to the max. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. Movie star, good looks, charismatic as the day is long, and tough as nails. set to make an impact in WWE. Well, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. Look at an LA Knight, a true throwback, who talks the talk and can walk the walk. I really can't stand the mouth on this guy, but I gotta say, watching him in the ring is truly watching a master at work. Knight traveled the world and wrestled in every promotion under the sun. Few people have the knowledge that he does. Perhaps Knight will impart some of the knowledge on his opponent in this matchup. And he's facing off against Rey Mysterio, a competitor who is known to bring the fight with a lot of heart. You find out real quick that Rey is tough to keep down. Mysterio shows no fear and has a larger shadow than his stature would determine. But there are a lot of people in the locker room who wanted to be the one to say, I brought down the biggest little man in WWE. Down across the neck. Amazing grace from Rey Mysterio. This can't be how Knight envisioned this fight going. There's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Rey Mysterio is so difficult to plan for because he can adapt to so many situations. That brings up the question, is there something an opponent can detect during the match to get the upper hand? But ever since his return, we've seen opponents employ strange new strategies to get at Mysterio. Targeting his eye, threatening his family. You have to think of new tricks to get one over on a savvy veteran like Rick. But when you find a weakness, you have to attack it with passion. LA Knight's hopes are waiting. Nothing can slow Rey Mysterio down. Mysterio from the top. He's right there. Flash flash from Mysterio. Mysterio turned his lights off. And that's all she wrote. Let's look back on the action from the last match.
Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamroller. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, Sarah Bay. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying yeah. on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times no. before bed tonight. Yeah. Such an incredible journey for this woman, but she knows a win tonight will take her even further. Here comes Eve Torres and from Denver, Colorado. Eve Torres. Eve is a natural born competitor who possesses crazy athleticism and an amazing in-ring IQ. Eve Torres is the real deal. Eve Torres, an expert at finding weakness and exploiting it. A woman who turned her back on the WWE Universe and never looked back. It was the best decision she ever made. Laying people out with a smile and a pose. Eve Torres poised and ready for action here tonight. And I think it's safe to say Eve's proven time and time again that she knows how to make it to the top of the women's division, to the top of WWE, no matter what it takes. I'm not sure I like what you're implying. For years, people have called Eve manipulative just because she knows how to get what she wants, what she deserves, both inside and outside of the squared circle. How is it manipulative to formulate a plan and execute it to perfection? Huh? Just to be clear, I wasn't implying that at all, Corey. I was just highlighting Eve's go-getter mentality, which has served her very well in the past and could be the difference maker here tonight. Oh, sorry. But she'll have to maintain her composure as she's going up against a woman with a penchant for getting under her opponent's skin. Too soon to be worried. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. I think we know what's coming up. Double knee to the midsection. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Oh, my. Apron sent Eve Torres, really one of the top athletes of the old school Divas division. What do you think is the best path to upsetting her tonight? Eve was ahead of her time with her grappling skills, but you can argue the game has risen to her level now. If you keep it a fight and don't let her take you to the mat, you can keep her out of her element. And now gets tossed into the ring. An uninterrupted surge against Torres here. Eve just really getting out fought here. Having a hard time taking control of this match. Oh, kicks right to the midsection. Opponent dropped in the corner and unloading. Ah, snapmare takedown and a not safe yet. Kick. Stomping. Ouch. Connects on the kick. This is gonna be great. Looking for the second, and now perhaps again. That's two, and perhaps a trifecta. Three amigos. 
She's just getting worked over right now. But Torres can't allow this burst to hinder her. Lands face first. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Impressive display of power. She gets out of the cross hole bar. Just like you. Big rocks. Oh, no. Looking for the victory. Two. Almost had her. Getting out of that by the skin of their teeth. Oh, the backstabber. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there. Just got denied by the rope break. Carefully. And the cover. Deserves another look, folks. Here is your winner, Sarah Bang! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. It's the baddest woman on the planet, and she's looking for a fight. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, the SmackDown Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Rousey possesses amazing striking skills and is one of the world's best submission specialists. I think there's a strong likelihood we're going to see broken limbs and faces courtesy of Ronda Rousey. main eventer, Nikki Bella, ready to handle business. Yeah. Well, if you know anything about Nikki Bella, you know that she is empowered to fight tonight for what she calls the Bella Army. sure they can dream up plenty of dangerous locations they'd like to take this match to. For all we know, this fight could end in the next town over. <laughs> Say goodnight. Sleeper hold is applied. Nikki is trying to fight this, but I'm not sure she has much of a chance. Oh, could be night night time. No, no, maybe not. What a catch. Mindset. A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. She's starting to look concerned. She can still turn it around by taking this fight wherever she wants it. Drop kick to the back. Uh, using a handful of hair to deliver the snapmare. And this is even worse, my goodness. So much damage. 
damage inflicted. Monster set up in the corner. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Oh, ouch. Oh, man, by the hair. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. One move away from defeating the baddest woman. Nikki Bella hoists her up on her shoulders. Here comes the attack. 2.0. Nikki might decide it right here. Two. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Nikki Bella not used to losing, but also no stranger to hard work. This will only make her double her efforts. And did you hear the impact of that? Nikki Bella fights back. Take another look at these wonderful women in action. Here is your winner, Nikki Bella. This was a truly spectacular win. Every match is special, but this one just raised the bar even higher. I bet the whole locker room was watching this one by the end of it. Get ready for the entrance of the big dog. I really miss Cole doing that, Saxton. I think I'd do it better. I think it was subpar at best. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. 
about five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. Oh, he'll show why he's at the top of the food chain. Just unfathomable dangers dwell within Bray Wyatt. And it seems as though Bray has slowly been losing the battle to contain that danger. Yeah, that's a frightening thought for the entire WWE Universe, including Wyatt himself. You can feel the anticipation here as Bray Wyatt commands the WWE Universe. A man who always succeeds in unnerving his opponents. You cannot allow Reigns to intimidate you. Well, yeah, that's probably easier said than done. He is in for the fight of his life. Describe the man known as Bray Wyatt, but one word in particular always comes to mind for me sadistic. In all my years on commentary here in WWE, I don't know that I've ever seen someone who takes as much glee and violence as Wyatt. You can always see the joy in his eyes as he inflicts his punishment on his opponents. I've no doubt in my mind that we'll be seeing just that tonight in this match. And with Roman Reigns, he constantly talks about his dominance in this division, in this industry. And time and time again, he absolutely backed it up. No matter how you feel about his tactics, you cannot deny that. You don't get this dominant without doing anything you have to do to secure the win, Saxton. The head of the table recognizes that. Oh, man, a bruising use of their body. Oh, my 
God. Getting out of the ring. Smart decision here. Shake off the cobwebs away from your opponent. Caught square by the Haymaker. Facing Roman Reigns is truly one of the toughest tests there is here in WWE. What's the best way to pass? Get ready to go long and keep the pace. Reigns likes to take his time, and he gets in your head, too, with all that yelling. Be ready for a marathon, not a sprint, and don't let Roman intimidate you. Sister Abigail. Why it seems like he truly enjoyed that. Admiring his handiwork once again. How in the world did he kick out? Bray is waiting. Bray is fixated. Oh, there it is. The Vanderbilt Crow. It dropped in. And that took Reigns down. Two. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. While Wyatt now, I hate to get into his head, but part of him might enjoy it. Taking flight. Keeping a good pace and not allowing the Tribal Chief to intimidate him. And Wyatt falls to a counter. Roman managing to get some control back now. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Suplex brings him down. He is just reeling from that offense. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Dismantled here. Reigns has to turn the tide quickly. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. Insulting. Nap time on the island of relevancy. Oh, Bray Wyatt, he has nowhere to go. Is this the end for Bray Wyatt? He's slowly, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, man, the will claw. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. Got to hand it to our winner, standing tall with their arm raised tonight. Call animal control. Someone just claimed Roman Reigns' yard here tonight. Once again, claim his spot atop WWE. A Hall of Famer who has survived judgment and embraced his darker side to become even more dangerous than ever before. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! Was the first entry in the 2021 Royal Rumble, outlasted every competitor and won it all. And if that's not grit, I don't know what is.
Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Nearly 15 years into his WWE career, Sheamus still manages to deliver banger after banger. Okay. After banger. We got it. After banger. Would you stop? After banger. Oh my gosh. After banger. Quiet. After banger. Shut up. After banger. I love it. After banger. <sighs> After banger. Edge here tonight, and since returning to WWE, he's had a newfound sense of gratitude and respect whenever he steps into the squared circle. He doesn't want to let this second chance at an in-ring career slip through his fingers. That's a real inspirational tale, Cole, but let's not kid ourselves. You can't take that gratitude to mean he's had a personality transplant. He's still the wonderfully sadistic master of psychological warfare that he always was. Only now he has even more of a chip on his shoulder. You might be right, Corey. If anything, being forced out of action may have only strengthened Edge's desire to win at any cost, made him even more dangerous in the ring. And ready to get this fight going across the ring, we've got Sheamus. I'll say this. You will remember a battle with Sheamus far beyond tonight. You may win the match, but Sheamus will make sure you got the lumps, bumps, and bruises to remember tonight for weeks to come. Inverted suplex! Reversal catches Sheamus there. <laughs> Boom, bicycle knee strike. Oh, on the jump. Fist directly to the gut. For Sheamus to come out on top in this one, he needs to focus on cornering his opponent and unloading his most brutal offense. He can't get tricked into a cat and mouse game. He needs to trap his opponent with big hits. That strategy certainly does play to Sheamus' strengths as a bruiser inside the ring. And he tosses it back in now. Flattened with a downward spiral. Edge is in position, ready to strike. Sheamus is in crisis mode. There's two. Line kicked out. Sheamus powered out. The Celtic Warrior proving his toughness tonight. And stopped just short of that mountaintop he talks about. Gonna have to make a harder push to finish things off. And Sheamus really having the fight brought to him there. Edge is certainly delivering attacks with more malice as the match goes on. The Impaler DDT. Like I said, that right there is the, uh, the ultimate opportunist. Watch out. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Here is your winner, Edge! Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.